Huh? How do you sit when you practice? I sit when I practice. I sit on a stool and I use a. Uh, you use the footstool. I have a footstool, and so what I'm doing is I'm sitting. Oh, like so you're this. putting I, it on I that put the light. guitar. I don't use the classical well, position. It's going to be hard for you to relax, and I mean it's a terrible position to practice in, because you're you're back like this. Your entire upper body's tense, and you don't know it. Okay. Well, like I can so, sit. So, in, that's fine. You know, I can sit like this and, and have great control of my fingers. You know, I can play a lot of complicated things like this. I would never practice like this, but I can play like that easily because okay, when I practice, perfect. I'm in an optimum position where everything's like really relaxed. Okay. You cannot relax this way. What you're really doing is tensing your entire body to try to hold Well, the other thing that happens is, and, and kind of what's hurt my, you know, the, the, the playing lately, is that I can play for about 15 or 20 minutes and then my back gets Of course! Tight. That's gets, what I'm telling you. When tight. I saw how you were sitting, yeah. it's making my back start to hurt. Okay. okay. So you want to move out to the edge of the chair, and then you want to, I'm going to lower this a little bit. So the first task always is to find the proper position for practicing. So let's see, now foot up, your, this foot up here. Okay, you come forward. Now, yeah, forward a little bit more. You have to sit to the edge of the chair. That's it. Mm -hmm. And then your back is like this. It's pushed in yeah, like this? It, yeah, it is. Right. Yeah. Now, it may, be, I, it looks, that looks okay. I'm going to lower this one more and see. You're going to have to work a little bit. See, now that isn't really correct, so that's the first thing we have to fix. What you have now is, see the pinky right here? Mm -hmm. In fact, I just did a newsletter on this. What you actually need to play is this. That's what you need. The ability to curve the pinky. Have the distal joint bent like that. You see? Mm -hmm. and eventually, you want your two strengthened so that your fingers look like this and you have space right here. That's what you want. That's what, That's right. It's a muscle right here that pulls that bone over, and it must be strengthened so that this is easy to do. Okay. Okay. So that's much better. Now, Keith, okay, well, here's the thing. Your finger form is actually very good. But what isn't good is the fact that each time you played it, your timing was off on the first couple of beats. Now, and what's bad about that is that you don't know about it. <clears throat> okay? You have to record yourself. You should get something that can play back at half speed, like a micro cassette recorder. I use a cassette machine rather than software. Software will do it. You can use that. But you need to, in a practice session, you need to record yourself at each repetition and listen back, especially as you move the speed up. You're just continuing to do it over and over and over. You have no idea whether what you're doing is correct. That means it can never get better, because we must know exactly. All right? So, um, that's the situation. So I need you to fix that. I need you to listen to what you sent me to hear that it's off and then to start to correct it. Only play those first five notes and make sure it begins and ends on the beat and everything's even in between because there is no building speed or control without doing that at every step of the way.